Hello, YouTube. Happy New Year. So, I know it's been a little bit since I've put up a video. I want to continue to say thank everybody that's st stuck around and has subscribed and all of that. Um, happy New Year, and 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 let's let's continue to advance here. Um, our snake game tutorial is getting a little bit long. Uh, I understand that it's probably boring to watch video after video, slowly upgrading pieces and and learning bits of the uh, uh, of the language, but I feel like this is kind of the best way to, to to learn, right? Do a little bit, push to the next one. Do a little bit, push to the next one, and then go back over what you've done. Um, so to dive right in, our next couple of things that we need to do uh, in in the snake game, we're going to create a pause menu or a pause screen. We're going to create a game over screen. We're going to create um, the ability to just hit escape to go from playing the game to the main menu. That way you can like quit your game and go back to the main menu without having to run into a wall or anything so you can do it immediately. So let's dive right into that. First thing we need to do is we're going to come down to our window class and under our constructor we're going to go under the game state boolean here. We're just going to add another couple of booleans. We're going to go with a game over boolean and it's going to be set to false. And we're going to go to a we're going to do a self pause boolean and it's going to be set to false. And that will start us off. Now, we're going to go down a little ways and we're going to come down to the main and we're going to come under our this while display game state loop. The first one we're going to do is the uh exit back to the main menu, right? So to do that, all we're going to do is add in under the event type high game key down. If the event dot key is equal to high game dot uh, K underscore escape, then we simply set our display dot game state to false. Now we can also make sure that we do a display dot game over set to false and a display dot pause to false just to make sure that we don't have them set in a weird configuration that binds up the application. I don't think we would we would, but this is kind of like future proofing just in case somehow we get into a state where game over is true and game states false and it just starts being weird. So we're just going to set them all to false as we come out of it. Um, and that should be pretty easy. And the next thing I want to do is let's just go ahead and save that and test it, right? It should be real easy. We hit new game and then we hit escape. New game and it's reset. So no problem. The next thing I want to do is we're going to take this same uh, condition right here. The if key event equals paw uh, k escape. We're going to do the same thing, but up here in an or condition for this quit. And what that will give us is the ability to just hit escape from here and just leave the game. So if I'm in a game, I can hit escape and then I can hit escape again and I'm out. Easy peasy. So let's come up here to the next part, which is if we're gonna have a pause menu and we're gonna have a game over screen, we need to be able to draw them. And that's gonna be part of our draw game. So above the display update, after we draw the rectangle, uh, rectangle for the food, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an overlay. And we don't have to use the overlay every single time, but we're going we're gonna to create it anyway. And the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to use the same overlay twice for the, uh, for the pause and the game over. We're not going to use the same messaging, but we're going to use the same overlay. So self dot, uh, actually it's pygame dot surface. That's what we want. And it needs to be self dot X by self dot Y so that it's the same size as our um, main screen. And we're going to set the overlay to or dot set alpha to, um, 128 
we're going to do overlay dot fill colors black. Now notice we're not using it. To, so the next step is going to be if um, self dot pause, then we're going to um, self dot screen dot lit. I need to capitalize that screen. There we go. Dot lit. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put overlay and it's going to be at zero, zero. That's a comma in there. And what that is is position zero, zero is the upper leftmost pixel. And then it will fill from there out to the self X, self Y. Okay. And so that will actually fill the screen with our, um, our alpha overlay, our, our transparent overlay. The next thing we need to do is actually very similar to what we're doing up here in this message from the main uh, main menu print scene uh, method. So we're going to put this in here. All we're going to change here is instead of 30 in Y pos, we're going to put 100 and 100. Hundred. And for this, it will be um, game pause, press P to continue. We can take the same thing here and instead of that, it'll be a game over. All right. And this is game over. Press eight to turn. Menu. So either of these should change what the behavior is. So we come down here. This does the move. This does the draw. And then what happens after happens after, right? So we have the pause, we have the, actually we don't have the pause, we have the escape. So what we need is a key press for if, for the pause. I'm actually gonna put it above this. There's a reason for this, you'll see it in a minute. Um, actually, no, I need to do it below. I need to do it below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If event.key equals high game dot k p what we're gonna do is set the pause to true so we do our display draw there we have this and this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part and we're gonna move it up by putting it here with an or same condition. We're going to get rid of that. Clear this. Game state is false. Display dot game over is true. And this is going to set those values to what we need when we actually work with it down here. Now we did our draw here. So what we need to do next is if display dot pause actually let's do let's do this a little easier we'll do while we'll just go straight into it display dot pause and then we're going to grab these all of it up to the for loop 
And what we'll do here is put that in. So this gives us, if we're paused, we can still quit. And then we can use P to remove the pause. Next up, if it's not display game state, then if not display dot game over, meaning we are in a false game state with a false game over instead of a false true. And we're just going to do this. And what that is going to do is if we hit the escape key or we quit, then it's going to still delete, delete the food in the snake. Otherwise, while display dot game over, what we're going to do here Take this same display draw game and really quick, I'm going to put it in here as well. But it's literally the same function because we've added features to it to, to handle this. What I need here is I really don't need the click or the tick, but I, I'm going to add the ticks just so it's not uh, spinning itself up as fast as it can. Um, we're going to keep it within our reasonable frame rate so we're not chewing up memory and then we need the same um, conditions that we use here in the pause right so it's technically all of this without the pause right so we just do boop And the reason it's without the pause is because obviously we don't want to just unpause. It's not paused, it's actually game over. So we do the draw game, we do the refresh, we do the event, we have the ability to quit, we have the ability to hit escape and get out of there. And technically speaking, we, we should be putting this tick at the end right there. But it's the same functionality that we have for the pause menu that we do for the game over. So now if we run this, new game, pause, pause, pause. All right, no problem pausing. And you can see it's given us that dark transparent overlay when we pause. Well, run into a wall. Boop. Game over. Press escape to return to main menu. Do it again. Now, instead of doing that, we're going to just exit. There we go. Perfect. So that's all the functionality right there. So to go over what we did, I'm all the way back up here. We added in game over and pause. We updated the draw game to include the overlay option, but we're not blitting it onto the screen, which is what you do to put the overlay on top. Um, we're not putting it on top of anything. We're just creating it unless the pause menu or the game over is true. If pause is true, then we, then we put the overlay and we put this message. If the game over is true, we put the overlay and we put this message. And then we finish with our little update. And then we came down here and we added in right here on the key down for quitting. Instead of just Q, we also have escape. So it's Q and escape. That's on the main menu loop. On the game state, when we're actually in the game, we added the K escape. We don't want Q, it's too close to WASD. We don't want to accidentally exit a game. But we added the escape and set all those values to false. And then we added this pause. So when we come down here, this draw can handle any of those, but it also handles it here, which technically means it's doing it twice, but that's okay. If we're paused, 
we run through the exact same thing, except we have this menu for, for unpausing. But we run through the exact same conditions as we do down here under this game over condition. So all of this is the same, except for it doesn't have the pause. We added this for if we escape the game instead of dying in the game. And then we shortened this up into one condition for all three events running into an X, Y coordinate or running into yourself. That So running into an edge or a wall or running into yourself. And then you have this false truce that set up for these two Booleans, which will allow us to enter into this game over right here. So we're no longer printing stuff out back here. You can just see where you ran into something. Um, at the end screen. So that about wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys found it enlightening. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to leave comments below. If you like the video, please subscribe. It'll help me out and hit the little like button. I appreciate it. And once again, I really do hope everybody has a wonderful new year. Bye.